if you are a leader at workplace then remember this one thing very 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 strongly you lead people and you manage things it is not the other way round you are not leading things and uh, managing people it is never that way although that is the regular trend what you will be seeing watching observing or experiencing yourself is people are micromanaging leaders or your boss so if you don't want to be that boss going ahead you need to remember this one thing and there are 10 books which will <coughs> broaden your thought process uh, one is surrounded by idiots by thomas erickson it is about human interactions in a perplexed or very complex um, surrounding the second book is the art of laziness maximum efficiency with minimum efforts third is 101 essays that will uh, change the way you think by brianna west this is about a thoughtful journey about life's tensions fourth is thinking fast and slow uh, by daniel uh, kahneman this is about unraveling complexities of the mind you know our mind plays games with us all the time that is why we perceive things very differently differently than those are are actually are the fifth thing is mindset by dr carol s dweck it is about transforming perspectives the moment you no uh, change your perspective everything changes you agree with that then the <clears throat> sixth book is the power of now by ekat tole it uh, talks about inner peace uh, clarity limitations uh, and potentials seventh is outliers by malcolm gladwell it is about untold factors that shape extraordinary success uh, beyond talent uh, alone uh, we think that talent does everything for us but you know beyond talent also there are something which is why success comes the eighth book is how successful people think by john c maxwell it is about mental habits uh strategies and uh, perspectives you know perspective is playing so much in how a leader thinks it is so very important ninth is the organized mind by daniel levitan and what he uh, talks about <coughs> in this book is meticulous planning uh, structured uh, thinking disciplined execution uh, decluttering your task your habits your thoughts and your space so everything else is very easy but decluttering your thoughts that's very essential and when i talk to people about decluttering their mindset so that they can uh, figure out what is the most essential thing for you for me for everybody at a certain period of time we find it very difficult so decluttering the thoughts why the thoughts play out uh, one after the other <coughs> the tenth book is the big questions of life it is about the uh, what you can say ex- existence purpose universe meaning of life why so and why not all this so these books will give you a perspective of uh, what uh, how leaders think and it will definitely going to broaden your thought process mm, then at workplace many people uh, have confused about this 
uh, whether there is leadership or there is management. You know, the mix of two is very important as we discussed yesterday about being strategic. There are things like compliance, tools, checks and balances, performance tracking, recruitment, reporting, prioritization, communication, reward and problem solving. These are managerial tasks. You don't have to put your heart onto it. It is straight away very very decluttered mind thought process. And the leadership is about becoming empathetic wherein you help people to um, find their way, find their own uh, <clears throat> you know, qualities, their superpowers and uh, their solutions. You know, everybody has a solution but we need to facilitate that as leaders. So these are about self-awareness. Uh, do you coach your people? Then do you mentor your people? <clears throat> Coaching is about uh, being responsible for their change, change of behavior, change of habits and change of thought process. But mentoring is allowing them to be what they are. You know, everybody wants their space uh, to be themselves for some time no? before they are coachable. So that is mentoring and then self-awareness. Everybody, everybody has uh, is worthy and they are here for a reason. So <coughs> allow them that space, that awareness and the, that, that appreciation for themselves before they appreciate the entire world. So at least we can become that one person in that person's life who can show them that there is more to what they see about themselves so that is what as leaders we need to bring to their lives then well-being of course we are very worried very concerned about how a person would be and uh, so <clears throat> that well-being we need to give them that comfort level and how do we demonstrate all this is we allow and we celebrate their successes. We become part of their team, part of their mindset, part of their success, part of their celebrations, part of their growth and celebrate. We are their cheerleaders. If we are their cheerleaders, we are leaders for, for sure. So thank you for watching. I would love all your comments and uh, questions, of course. Please come out with questions. And if you see that uh, uh, there is a website, there is a channel that I want you to subscribe, do please subscribe. And if you want to book a one to one call with me, that is there in the profile, <coughs> you can. Always book a call with me. Thank you for being here.